Understanding what designers do and how designers do it is not only relevant to non-designers. It's essentially important for designers as well. And believe me, designers usually don't do so. Hi, my name is Gonzalo Reneri. I'm a designer, architect, and PhD candidate. And this channel is all about design, sustainability, and other treats. If you are new, subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. Bruno Munari was an Italian designer, poet, sculptor, professor, author, and child story book writer. Connected with the Futurism movement since 1927, he developed his career as a multi-arena designer. He practiced graphics, objectual, industrial, experimental, and material design. He was obsessed with simplifying the design process, and in this book, he presents us a masterpiece of it. How Objects Are Born by Bruno Munari Bruno Munari stated that design is a defined recipe, and he does a parallel with the preparation of rice. For doing a good plate of rice, you must follow certain steps to guarantee a delicious experience, just as you should do with the design. To guarantee a good design result, you must follow certain steps, never improvise. The methodology Minari presents is nothing out of this world. We could deduce it after certain years as a professional, or probably you were taught it at the design school. The value of this book for designers is the demystification of the idea we have about ideas. Yes, many designers, maybe we shouldn't call them that way, after being presented with a problem, they come out with a magical idea to solve that problem. If you remember my video 10 things that are not designed, I ramble a little around this. I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video so you can watch it after this review is finished. Back to Munari. He says, we need the idea, but in the right moment. And during the book development, he postpones the idea for later instances. The idea starts to distance itself from the problem. In between them, many things must happen before even thinking of having an idea. The steps he presents us in this book are the following ones. Problem. Problems always have a way of being resolved, otherwise they're not problems. Here is where the super talented craft designers pop out with an idea. Defining the problem. A problem addresses a certain issue specifically, not a group of issues. We must name what we are targeting at. The idea is delayed. Elements of the problem. He states that the original problem, the one we just defined it, can be subdivided into smaller, more accessible ones. The idea is displaced again. Data collection. Since we divided the problem in our previous step, we must recollect data for each one of those elements. The idea is postponed. Data analysis. Data has no meaning until you analyze it. And this analysis must be done from a certain perspective and the perspective must be design-based. The idea must wait for a while. Creativity. This is where the idea is finally doomed. Creativity has nothing to do with this magic idea misconception. Creativity, on the other hand, believes in the creation of a response. This, based in the previous steps. It has a constructivist approach. Materials, technology. Creativity projects into the next steps where it's nourished by the materials. Technology, use it. Experimentation. Creativity also resorts to experimentation in all of its possible variants as a sustentation of its growth, usually, but not solely, focusing in materials and technology. Models, finally based in a creation process, that's why we call it creativity, we reach the moment of transforming data and relations into forms. Verification. Design needs feedback as one of its primordial incomes of information to make informed decisions, and verification enables us to make modifications before we liberate the final design. Technical drawings. The constructive drawings were in vogue at the moment the book was written. Back in 1981, they were still the only way designers could transmit their projects for future manufacture. Design is the word for drawing in Italian. So designers were the ones that turned in the drawing of what had to be produced. Is this name still pertinent, especially with the eruption of new technology where the technical drawings are unnecessary due to digital fabrication? 
Should we as discipline, a collective, search for a new name for what we do? Any suggestions? Leave them in the comments. Oh yeah, and there's one more step. Solution. We're finished. At least as long as the variables, the initial elements, the initial problem doesn't change. As you can see, even though this book was writing in 1981, he had the power to separate from the nonsense many call design. You really have to watch the video I mentioned before, 10 things that are not designed. Almost forgot, as far as I can recall, there are no English translations for it. So if I'm wrong, please leave me a comment below. I'll leave affiliated links to the Italian, Spanish, French and Japanese versions on the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Ciao.